What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be installing something pretty cool for the Cayennes. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while and finally we have a solution and it's this right here. So here we have Mr. 12 volts Bluetooth adapter. This is gonna work for PCM 2.0 and 2.1. Super easy install, everything is pretty much plug and play. And what's really cool about this is you'll be able to retain the OEM look of the head unit while also keeping your steering wheel functions. So if you have the CD changer option, you're gonna unplug the cable to the back of the CD changer and replace it with this so that it bypasses it. So this cable is a little hard to reach. It's gonna be in the back corner of this. You're gonna feel a latch that you're gonna push down on and you're gonna pull this way. And then that's what you're gonna connect this to. And once you get the bypass over there, you're gonna hear a nice snap and that's when you know it's in. Then we're gonna to wanna to make our way to the front. Here you can use a simple plastic pry tool to get this silver trim off. Go ahead and remove this. With a T20 Torx bit, you're gonna have four torque screws to remove. And then you'll kind of want to just wiggle it out. There you go. Gently remove the head unit. Then from here, we can get a better look at things. Uh, we can just remove these cables, push in and pull out. Luckily, everything's color coded, so you'll know where to put uh, these cables back. Just like that. Set that aside. You're going to want to get this bag and remove all the contents from this. So you should have the fiber optic Y cable, and then you have this red and black cable, and what you're gonna be using to tap into the power. Then grab the fiber optic Y cable, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in orange to orange. That clips in. And then you're gonna get the Mr. 12 volt adapter. Remove this piece of plastic from inside, and this will go in just like that. This is what's gonna reconnect back into the head unit. Then you're gonna grab your red and black cable, which is gonna help supply power to the Bluetooth adapter, along with your split connectors. What you're gonna be splicing into is this connector. Red is gonna to go to the red and yellow, black is gonna to go to the brown cable. And then once you get the two cables, you can go ahead and clip it, grab some pliers and just make sure everything is tight. You should be able to pull these, and nothing should come loose. Then you're gonna do the same exact thing with the black wire to the brown wire. Same thing, double check. And then the red and black is gonna go ahead and connect to the back of the adapter. And then while we're at this point, before we push everything back in and screw it all tight, we're gonna plug everything back into the head unit and just make sure that it works. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the key. Start it up. You're gonna get that warning that the CD changer is not available. Okay, and then once this radio is on, you will hear it. As soon as you go here and turn on CD, you're gonna click CD, that should happen. If a red light comes on, it means all your power and all your wires are connected correctly. If not, go back and double check the connection of the wires. It says CD1, right? We can go to our phone. We're gonna click Bluetooth and you'll find car kit. Go ahead and click car kit. As you see, it's connected to car kit. And then let's go ahead and test it out. Make sure you turn it up all the way on your phone. You can hear it coming out of the speakers. And now that it shows that it works, we can go ahead and put everything together. And then for here, when you don't wanna to listen to your Bluetooth anymore, you can click tuner. That goes back to the radio. And then when you wanna go back to Bluetooth, all you're clicking is CD. And then right here you see BT audio. And this is where your, your Bluetooth is playing. Like I showed earlier, you can add is this microphone. What it would do is it would plug into this mic port right here. And then from there, you can route it underneath, up and around and have it mounted up here. So for this Cayenne, uh, they wanted it mounted right in the middle right here. So I went ahead and routed it through these crevices all the way down, up, and you'll find the cable through here. And then all you have to do is plug it in right where it says mic. 
So now that we know that it works, we can go ahead and put everything back together. So finally got it back in after organizing the cables. I kind of taped some up and stuck it behind the pockets in the head unit. Now everything sits flush, triple checking it. I'm on here in SoundCloud, connected to the Bluetooth and it's playing. You can hear it. What's cool is there's no static. Unlike those cigarette lighter adapters like you get some frequency static. This is gonna sound a lot cleaner. Now all we have to do is put this trim back on. Well, it was as simple as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this super easy and super quick installation video for the Mr. 12 volt Bluetooth adapter for the Cayenne. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will definitely help out if I can. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.